It's Sarah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. We're in the French Alps at Les Deux Alpes Ski Resort in Isère. And in today's video, I want to give you guys a tour of the chalet that we're renting. It fits 12 people and is about 3,300 euros for the week. Starting the tour right outside of our apartment. This is what the chalet looks like from the outside. And down here we have the entrance to the chalet and that is where we keep all of our skis and our ski boots when we're not using them. Over here we have the machines that put your boots on and they keep them nice and toasty. Everyone is out skiing except for me. Those are my boots. And everyone also has their skis, except for mine. What up? It's honestly great to have that right beside our chalet. It means everything is within proximity. We can just grab them and go. And the little boot machines keep them warm. And the fact that we can lock it and keep everything secure is also really great. Into the chalet. So here we have the main entrance. And there's actually two apartments within this building. We have Leslie 1 and Leslie 2. We are in Leslie 2. Here we have the main living space. So we have the dining room table, we have the living space and the kitchen. You can also access the wraparound balcony from this room and also connected to this main living space. You have the master bedroom as well as the mezzanine. The kitchen is perfect for the amount of people we are. You have this nice little island as well as a very large fridge and an oven, a stove, lots of counter space, a microwave. All of the groceries, cleaning supplies, sponges, soaps, stuff like that we brought ourselves but the chalet did come with cups and bowls, all of the utensils that you would need to cook with. We have this knife set for example and in the cupboards you've got dishware and over here as well you've got wine glasses and water glasses. Right beside the kitchen to the right we have our dinner table. This is where we eat all of our meals together. It's a super big table, perfect for how many people we are. And over here, we also have a little coffee station and a tea station. Moving on from the dining area, we've got this little living space. Normally, the babies have their play mat on the ground over here. There's a nice wood burning fireplace. And over here, you have the living area with a TV. The couches are super comfy and it's just a nice little cozy space to play board games or have a little apéro or play puzzles with the kids. Right behind the couches you have the master bedroom right over there and up top you've got a stairway that leads to the mezzanine which no one is really sleeping in even though it's very cute. The problem is when you're sleeping in the mezzanine you have to be the first one up in the morning and the last to go to sleep in the evening just because you are absolutely hearing everything that's going on in the living space. But it's honestly very cute. If there weren't those inconveniences, I would totally take the mezzanine as my room. So here you've got two single beds that are kind of just stuck together. And right overhead, you've got a nice view of the living space. It's a tight fit up here. I'm definitely crouching down. And there isn't a lot of storage, which I guess is another inconvenience for this room. You've got this area in the corner to hang your clothes. And this dresser right beside the stairs. So that's it. That's a tour of the living space, the kitchen, the dining room, and the mezzanine. Let me take you guys out to the balcony. This is honestly one of the best parts about the apartment. It's just so sunny. You've got a spectacular view of the mountains, of the cute little chalets. Here, we've got our neighbors. And on this side, we've got the slopes. One of 
when the sun's out it's honestly not that chilly on the balcony and it's really nice because there's also two little sun chairs which you can set out and I don't know enjoy the view enjoy your coffee breathe in the fresh air off the main floor you've also got the stairs that lead down to the two lower levels once you get to the bottom of the stairs directly to the right you have some storage Everyone has stored their coats here, and here we've got suitcases, ski gear. And then directly to the left of the stairs, you have bathroom number one. We've got a tub, his and her sinks, a beautiful mirror, and there's also a towel heater, which is really nice. Then into the hallway, you've got three more bedrooms. We've got one family in here. Jean and I are here, and Jean's parents are down there. All the rooms are pretty much the same, except for the one where there is the family with children. That room has bunk beds, but I'll show you what Jean and I's room looks like. That way you guys have an idea. Everything is wood, so it's very cozy, very rustic. We've got a spectacular view. And over here we have a double bed with some shelves on the side for our clothes. And over here we have a closet. The room is honestly the perfect size for two. It's not too small at all. And honestly, we don't spend a lot of time in the room anyways. We're mostly outdoors on the slopes or upstairs with the family. And I think it's really great. The view is spectacular. It's so nice to wake up with the sun. The only thing that I can say is I don't think there's enough storage. Four tiny shelves and a closet with three hangers is not ideal for the amount of clothes that two people have for a week. But yeah, I can't complain. I think it's really cute and very cozy. Back into the hallway on this side, we've got the third bedroom. We've got a toilet and another bathroom in here. Again, we've got the bathtub, the his and her sinks, but we've also got a nice little shower. So you've seen the main floor. We've done the lower level. Now let me take you down to the basement, which is the most exciting part of the chalet. We've got not just a jacuzzi, but we've got a sauna and a hammam. I've honestly never stayed anywhere that's had these kind of private amenities, and it's so nice to come in after a full day on the slopes, all cold and chilly, and to come down and step in the sauna and breathe in the hammam and just relax in the bubbly jacuzzi. It's honestly perfect. It's also really nice that there's a sitting area down here as well. Let me take you guys quickly into the sauna. It gets very hot in here. And to the hammam. You've got one bench on this side. And one bench over there. And up top you've got all sorts of lights and vapor. Down here as well, which you can probably hear in the background, is a laundry room, and we've also got two more showers and another toilet. A close-up of the jacuzzi. And here we've got two more showers. As well as a laundry room and even a place to iron your clothes. Voila, that is the full tour of the chalet that we rented. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you an idea of what you could potentially rent if you yourself are looking to book a trip to the Alps. That is all for me today. I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be a vlog of our trip.